Hello everybody, welcome to another Frequently Asked Question video. What I'm going to deal with today is, you know, some of the things you can expect to go wrong with your aquaponic garden when you first get started, and how I dealt with those problems. There are three products that I use, and we'll come to each of those in turn. In the beginning, when you first add water to your aquaponic system, straight out of the tap, it's going to have some form of chlorine in it. It's almost unavoidable in this day and age. If you don't have it in your tap water, I am so envious of you. Anyway, for the rest of us, what I use is this Sierra Koi Protect 5-in-1. It's a water conditioner and basically it... Uh, rips all the chlorine completely right out of there and it's safe for me to add it almost straight into my fish tank. I don't have to let it sit 24 hours or any of that junk, which is good because in general I'm not patient enough for that. Now it does a few other things um, like encouraging bacterial growth and, and things of that nature, but for the most part I use that to deal with my chlorine issues. Failing that, I will let it sit for 24 hours to get rid of it. That is how I deal with chlorine. That's it. That's all. Sometimes when you're starting a new aquaponic system, you're going to find that your ammonia levels go up and down quite regularly. The best way to deal with this is to help promote good bacterial colony growth. What uh, I came to for that is this One Fix product right here. Again, recommended to me by my friend at the koi pond section of the nursery. Um, as you can tell, I very much value and trust his opinion. He has yet to lead me astray. so. Looks like it's going to keep going that way. Basically what that is, is that is a liquid form of all the bacteria that you want to develop in your biological filter to help convert the fish waste into plant food. A few drops of that into your biological filter will make a huge difference right away as far as dealing with those ammonia levels and you'll find things start to correct themselves in no time at all. Now the third product I use for the third issue that most of us are going to deal with is you get that sad kind of brown looking leaf that comes along with your aquaponic system especially if you're growing cabbages I've found kohlrabi in particular wow they'll just they'll just suck it right out of your system but that is oftentimes due to a lack of iron in your system um, now there are a few people doing different things to add iron to their system in a more natural fashion and I'm very interested in that um, one of which includes basically throwing a piece of iron into your sump tank and letting nature do the rest, which seems to me to be a pretty logical solution. I, uh, I can't see any reason why that wouldn't work. But until I try something like that, what I'm using is this here, this chelated iron. I have, uh, since I purchased this, come to find out that apparently I shouldn't really be using a powdered chelated iron, but I want to go for a liquid form. I could potentially be damaging myself with this, but I have yet to experience any ill effects to the best of my knowledge. So, there you go. There are three of the things you're definitely going to have to look out for and uh, be aware of when you're first starting up your aquaponic garden. And, uh, how I dealt with them when they cropped up in mine. So, once again, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. If you've got any other questions that I haven't yet addressed, just throw those into the comments below. I'll try and get to them as soon as I can.